Oh, oh you know yeah, he went too far. Right yeah, you know he's fast right there. What's good, yo? We back, RTTV. What's good, yo? We back, RTT. Dang, dang, dang. Yeah. And if it's your first time in, it definitely won't be your last. So make sure you kill murder and smash. smash. Oh, yeah, baby. And make sure you check out our Patreon. We got full and early reactions of animes, live action shows, man. A lot more. So make sure you check out that Genome Project. Yeah, make sure you do that. Make sure that your <coughs> notification bell is ringing so every time we drop a video, you know about it first. We are back with another trailer, highly requested. Remember, guys, if you want a request, you got to say our names. My name is Rob. DC. Patrick. It's your boy Wells. Jerry. Say our names and your requests, and we'll do it. Make sure you check out our Bollywood, our Tom and our yeah. Hollywood trailers. Do that! You guys have been loving it. We're back with highly requested KGF, KGF. trailer. Let's get so we're gonna be it's two trailers, we're gonna do two trailers and then we're gonna get into the movie um, movie scenes. So let's start it off fellas. This is a very big movie, everyone's talking about it. Let's see what's about. Alright, what is man? Let's get right into it. KGF trailer. I think Rob hasn't been messing with these trailers, so I already know it's about to be fire. <coughs> yeah, coffee. The ending to all great stories is written by destiny. Ooh, that's a fucking bar. 1951. That's when Pat Shorty was born. <laughs> yeah, yo. My sugar mama. <laughs> A child is born. Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, this shit looks lit. So he's like eight, nine years old. Oh my god! Nah, he grew up in the streets, bro. Little plumber. Oh! Oh, is that action? Yeah, this shit looks lit. Ooh. Oh, but your father is oh, me. Right here. <laughs> this looks so amazing, I can change, bro. So like part of him now. Huh? Cause you see him wear the chains. Oh, I'm not sure, but I like I like how you you see the beginning story as him as a child. He goes up and he's like, ah, oh, you see him raising the streets. Then he starts being some mess. Straight up. <laughs> yeah, man. This is definitely a story. I feel like that. Yeah. So I feel like this is like a coming of age story. Like you just see him coming from the streets, and yeah. we'll see what happens next. He said he gotta kill a mammoth, bro. He said, I'm your father. Oh, I feel like he's with, like, the people, and it's like, they're going against the, like, the higher power. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah, he went too far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right yeah. Here. Don't get emotional with nobody down here. Oh, shit. Yup. Yeah. This movie looks epic, bro. Damn. Wow. Color gold. 
that was one of my favorite trailers that we watched. Yeah, I feel like it was shot really amazingly, and I think the story is dope as hell too. Yo. Mm -hmm. You can see like the the vast differences between like the rich and the poor too. Yeah. Like it said, the day he was born, that's the day that they discovered the gold fields. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't know how that's going to correlate with each other, but obviously it looks like he's trying to come for whoever discovered those fields. Because maybe that's some part of that belongs to him. And the nigga that was like, yo, I am your father, he might be the one that discovered the uh, fields or something like that. So that mm -hmm. the main character must own some part of those fields, or that might be his like birthright. Yeah, yeah that actually makes sense. And the thing is, on top of that, you see all those people, like the lower class are the ones that has to work on those fields. Mm -hmm. So the fact that you're born at the same time the fields was like made, and you're kind of living in that low class too. Mm -hmm. And so we talked about before, like being in that low class and going up and seeing it as it was rising, you have more of that pain that the people had. It's exactly. like, yeah, so you want to fight for them. I feel like seeing it from the time that he was born, it's like a dope coming to age story. I feel like just from coming up from the streets, like you're seeing what made him change and why he's fighting for the people. Because even in the end, she said that you have the courage because you have thousands of people behind you. So he's a, a person of the people, but I feel like it's more street. Like it, the fighting he was yeah. doing, it was really grimy. It wasn't like a, it was like military, nothing like that. I feel like it was exactly. more Uprising in the people. streets. Like I feel like it's more rebellion, and I feel like the fact that he could conquer the he could conquer the world is showing everyone that you could come from nothing and become something. Mm -hmm. And I feel like this is a nothing from something story. And I think the way they shot it, how dark it looked, how graphic it was, and how the scenes you could just you feel the emotions and we don't even speak the language and you could just feel like the actors are embodying it. and i feel like the actors they really have great facial expressions because we barely could tell what they're saying but we know what kind of what the story is mm -hmm. yeah. it was luckily this one had the subs mm -hmm. it was lit my boy about to conquer this world yeah this was dope and even his story it looked like he was chained up since he was a kid or like some type of like Either mentally or physically mentally or physically and like it it i'm it kind of looked like he was a slave in a sense because it showed the chains on his mm -hmm. um they showed the chains on his arms and it looks like it's gonna be fire and it he used like the fire. chains that they enslaved him with to fight back mm -hmm. oh Psst. you're right i didn't even notice that yeah, it's just <laughs> crazy yo irony of that Lit. Well, if it's your first time here, it definitely won't be your last. So make sure you kill, murder, and smash, smash that subscribe button. And if remember, if you want a request, you got to say all our names. My name is Rob. DC. Oh, Patrick. <laughs> it's your boy, Wells. Okay. And just make sure you check out our Bollywood, Tollywood, and Tommy playlist. We're going to be doing a lot more every day. Let us know. Every day we're going to drop a new, um, new content. Either music videos, trailers, fight scenes, a lot of dopeness. And even if you want us to do tour, travel, anything, we're open to a lot. So please comment below. And man, I go by the name Rob Figalti, the Haitian Prince, that hip hop nigga, that rock nigga, that Hollywood Bobman and Talmay nigga. And that's my nigga. It's not your favorite nigga. Black man. <laughs> And man, make sure, shout out to all India, rocking with us, letting us into the culture. We definitely appreciate it. And yo, shout out to all my Haitians. Sak pa se na bu le pit. I say come pit. I say come pit. Yo, what's good, man? I go by the name of DC. Follow me on Instagram, DCZ underscore world RT. Yo, another dope trailer. I can't wait. I ask, yo, there's a lot of these movies we gotta watch, yo. Yeah, I'm gonna get this to 5K many... likes if you wanna watch the full movie with us on Twitch. Twitch. RTTV5, follow now. Patrick on T, baby, yes sir. You here with us, baby? We love you for that. Thank you. And it's your boy Wells, the Anime King. You can follow me at Wells on the score T. Get him, Wells. Wells. You already know, baby. Get this to five thousand likes. I'm dying to watch this shit. Yeah. Hey girl, won't you come and hold my hand? Won't you come and just chill with the maniac? Wells on the score RT. That they be saying that. Make sure you get this video to five K. And shout out to all the new subscribers. Yeah. Comment below. Thank you. We appreciate y'all for being part of the family, and that settles it at the round table. What's good, yo? If it's your first time here, it definitely won't be your last. Make sure you click that subscribe button. It's the Haitian Prince Rob City RT, and you're now rocking with RT TV or Disney. <laughs>